Hi guys, welcome back to another review from Amateur Priority Toys. Today is a very special review that I'm excited about because we are looking at the new NECA 12 inch scale uh, Billy the Puppet action figure with tricycle. So it's been a while since I've done a traditional review. I've done a couple haul videos and the last couple of reviews on my channel were actually filmed um, a, a while ago. I just haven't had a chance to post them. I've been really busy lately. I'm doing an internship and with school, it's just been a lot. But um, I'm on spring break, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, I want to try to make more videos, get caught up, because there's lots of cool stuff I've been getting lately. Like this guy, I just got him this last weekend. And uh, I kind of have a lot to say about him. Uh, I haven't even opened him yet, and I know I got a lot to say. So uh, let's just take a quick look at his box. I'm going to do my best. So saw Billy the Puppet, 12-inch action figure with tricycle. Obsessed with teaching his victims the value of life, John Kramer, a deranged, sadistic serial killer, abducts the morally wayward once captured, they must face the impossible choices in a horrific game of survival. The victims must fight to win their lives back or die trying. I'm a very big fan of Saw. It is one of my favorite horror franchises. So I was very excited when NECA announced this because uh, Saw merchandise is kind of few and far between. Um... If you're also a Saw fan, you, you probably know. Um, you know, they didn't do anything. Not that I would have wanted it, but they didn't do anything for Spiral when it came out in 2021, I believe. Um, I, I didn't like the movie very much anyways. But we're getting a new Saw this year. Um, so this will be the 10th installment, I think. Because Jigsaw was number 8, Spiral is number 9, this will be number 10. So John Kramer is supposed to be coming back. I'm so excited about that. Um, so yeah, uh, so this is his box. Um, he is supposed to talk, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, let's get him out of the box and let's see what we think of Billy the Puppets. Okay, since there is no window packaging... I thought I would show you guys what he looks like when you slide him out of the box and he is still wrapped up in his packaging. You can see his tricycle behind him. So there he is, there's his box. And let's get him out of there. Okay, so straight out of the box, this is what Billy looks like. He is in a pre-posed position, um, which I will say I, I do not like. Um, this just reminds me kind of like of the old McFarlane days when, when they had their rights to to the horror movies and they were always stuck in the same pose. Um, I mean, it's not a big deal for, for Billy because, I, I mean, he's supposed to be on his tricycle anyways, but yeah, I don't like that he's pre-posed. Um, so his articulation... Uh... His head doesn't really want to move, so I'm going to say very little head articulation. Uh, shoulders will go in and out, fully rotate. No elbow. Wrist will swivel, and it will... It's kind of got like a hinge here behind his little sleeve. Um, forward and back articulation the legs. They go out slightly, but they're hindered. Uh, no, it looks like he has a swivel here, but he does not, and no ankle articulation. So very, very little articulation, which, you know, usually for me, I'm not a big articulation guy, but uh, I would have liked a little more, especially since this figure, and this is the only Billy figure I have, um, besides my Trick or Treat Studios Billy, who's joining me for this review. <laughs> um, so yeah um, his clothes they're all sculpted they are hard plastic and 
it's kind of a weird material right here. Um, this kind of plastic feels like it would break. If you were to drop it right here, you could chip off like parts of this tux. Um, this face is pretty good. Let me get a little closer. Pretty good, but um, he could definitely benefit from a little black wash, I think. So we got some textures and the sculpting, which is nice. Um, he's got the very nice sparkly shoes, like that. Uh, back here is his gimmick. We'll go over that in a minute. So, um, first impressions. Uh, he's okay. I want to see what he looks like on the tricycle. So let's uh, let's get that put together right now. So this tricycle comes in three separate pieces. We have the back two wheels, the handlebars, <clears throat> which I will say I've already noticed on mine. Where did it go? Um, some paint bleeding. As you can see, there's red on the silver. This is very, very flimsy. I do not like that. Especially since he is pre-posed. Um, you know, if you were to hold them weird, which we'll find out if he does, they could break maybe. Um, the whole tricycle is flimsy. This wheel turns, which is nice, but it is very flimsy plastic. It feels very cheap. Um, the pedals do not work. They are not part of the mechanism. It is just a wheel. So let's see how this goes together. Um, I am not sure exactly which. Oh no. Okay, this feels. Kind of scary to put together, I will say. It is uh, very thin plastic. It does not want to go together. Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. That was, okay. So there it goes. Oops. Then we have the handlebars, which are just going to stick in here, it looks like. I'm noticing some more paint bleeding right there. Some red on the silver. So there's our tricycle, <clears throat> all built and ready to go. So let's get Billy seated. Okay, so he is on the tricycle. Um, it was pretty difficult to get him on, actually. I had to take the handlebars off, put them in his hands first, and then put them in. Um, his legs, his feet don't want to sit on the pedals very well. Uh, I, I, I kind of wish he just had pegs. Since these don't move, you can't like position them. He's sitting like on the very edge of his seat, and if you try to move him back, like it, it looks like he should be more like this but it doesn't line up with the pedal if you do that this foot wants to slide off it so having him on the shelf i might just have him like this it also feels like he's leaning which he is actually and i can see this putting stress already on the back um this back part that you had to clip in to the to back of the tires and that I could see breaking over time. So, um, yeah, that's, that's as good as it gets. And it's kind of, it's very disappointing. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very disappointed actually in the quality. Um, he looks nice, you know, <clears throat> from far away. Um, if you look too close look at his face, I don't think it looks that great. From far away, he looks okay. Um, I like that the tricycle moves. Um, but, like, you could see him, like, shaking on here. He's too heavy a figure 
This type of plastic is too heavy for the plastic they used for the tricycle. It, it doesn't make sense and it feels cheap. This needed to be a very more, a much more sturdy plastic. And <sighs> let's talk about the main issue of this figure. Actually, the main issue of this figure is the price. I, when I saw the price of this guy, I assumed this was going to be metal, die cast metal. The price of this guy is, if you don't know, uh, $112 to $120. You did not mishear me. It is $112 to $120. And to me, this quality does not line up with that price whatsoever. The figure is okay as it is. But this bike does not fit him. They, <clears throat> if at that point, they should have lowered the price and taken away the bike because um, it's not a good quality. It's really not. Um, yeah, definitely not worth the price. Um, let's, I haven't talked about his gimmick. Let's go over his gimmick and then I'm going to talk politics about NECA so anyways if you turn him around over here I haven't even looked at this really yet okay so you push this in this one and I think that turns him on which is cool if that's like a save battery feature so if you're not going to be using him you can just click him off and save the battery that way um, I give credit for that that's cool I, I wish more toys had that Let's hear what, he, what Billy has to say. So I'm getting closer to my mic. Okay, so he's got a good amount of phrases, which is cool. Um, another thing I just realized too, um, oops, he does not have mouth articulation. So you can't even, not that I expect it to move when you push the button, but you can't even like just open his mouth, which is kind of cheap to me. Um, so. So yeah, <clears throat> it's cool that he talks, but the talking feature does not equal $120 to me. Now, I will be completely transparent with you guys. I was at a comic book store slash collectible store this weekend, and I found this guy, and they had him marked. I am going to show you the sticker so you believe me. For $60. $59.99. Now, this figure was brand new in the box. Clearly, nothing is broken or damaged. It didn't have any sign that say traded in, you know, open box, nothing like that. Just $60. I have, they must have just made a mistake. It was a pretty big store, they got a lot of stuff. Somebody, I think, made a mistake. But $60, when they, <clears throat> when they announced this figure, that's what I was expecting to pay, was $60. When I saw that he was $112 to $120, depending on where you get him from, I was very sad, actually, because I was like, well, I am not spending that. Uh, especially with, you know, the reviews that I've watched of him I don't think he's worth that and I still don't think he's worth that the $60 I think is more in line but even so I'm still a little too disappointed I think with the tricycle overall 
So I saw that he was $60 and I figured I'm going to get him because I will never find him for a better deal. Never. Um, horror stuff only goes up in value over time. You know, he wasn't marked like on clearance or anything. Like, why would he be? He just, he just came out. So it had to have been a mistake, but and I feel kind of guilty. <laughs> I feel like I kind of stole this guy. Um, but to me, that's a more fair price for what he is. Um, sadly, he rolls really nice. I will say that if you push him, he starts wobbling and that makes me nervous. So <clears throat> negatives. Um, number one, the price. Number two, his tricycle is too flimsy. The plastic is too cheap to support the type of plastic that he's made out of, which is much more sturdy. <clears throat> I think he could have used a little more of a black wash on his face. Um, I don't like that he's pre-posed. That's a personal issue. If you don't mind that, you know, that's 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 your personal preference. Um, you know, he's he's all hard plastic. The gimmick is the positives are the gimmick is nice. I, I like all the phrases. I, I like his shoes. The sparkly red looks nice. I am just happy to have a saw figure on the shelf. Um, and, you know, I'm hoping they do more when the new movie comes out, but we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, this is just not my, not what I really wanted. I, if I was going to pay $120 for this, I would want this to be metal. I would want him to be wearing fabric clothes, cloth goods, uh, be articulated so I could take him off the tricycle if I wish. Or like another issue I just thought of, if your tricycle breaks, say that, the, you know, because it is flimsy plastic, say he rolls off the shelf, <clears throat> breaks, you can't stand him up. He, he can't do anything on your shelf anymore. He can maybe sit on the ledge um, I can try it. Um, but yeah, if I was going to be paying that price, like I said, cloth goods needs that articulation. This should be made of metal. And his mouth should be able to open and close, at least just with your hands. So I'm trying to stick him on the ledge of my table. Uh, no, he will not. He will fall. So, yep, if your tricycle breaks, you are out of luck. These are all things I think you should keep in mind before getting this guy. Um, yeah, it's just kind of disappointing. But, you know, I, I guess I am still happy to have him. He, he looks cool. It's just uh, not what I wanted. Not what I was expecting. So, unfortunately. Anyways, um... Let's do some quick comparisons. Okay, so here's Billy next to uh, a very old um, uh, pig face puppet. Or pig face puppet. Uh, pig face figure. Um, actually got this guy out of a bargain bin for $2 the day before I went to go see Spiral. So if that's not good luck. I don't know what is. Not too bad Spiral wasn't a better movie. But... Very happy to have this guy. He was my only saw figure for a while. And then I got the Living Dead Dolls Billy. Which is probably my favorite Billy still. He looks really good. I think this kind of aesthetic looks... This kind of designer series from Mezco looks good on him. He's also got nice shoes. Um, and then I also have over here... He's been kind of just poking in the frame the whole time. Trick or Treat Studios, Billy the Puppet replica. He looks pretty good. Um, and then here is our new Billy. So let me know what you guys think of him. <clears throat> Do you guys think he's worth it? Do you have him? Did you pay full price? <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments. Um, 
But yeah, this is still a fun review to make. It's like I said, it's been a while. I've just been busy. So I'm gonna try to do more videos this week. I was in quite the spooky mood today. So I was happy to film this. You can see I got some candles out. I got my uh, fake autumn leaves out. It's a nice rainy day. So I think I might just pop on one of the Saw movies while I uh, just clean up my room and uh, look at my toys. So gonna try to get caught up on more videos this week. I got some Migos I wanna review. Um, I might just do a big Mego video of like a few Mego figures I've been getting. Um, I might also just do like, uh, just an unboxing video where I unbox just some figures that I've been getting that, uh, I don't think need their whole, their own video. So I'm going to have some stuff coming up in the next two weeks while I'm on spring break. So look forward to that. One last look. So anyways, thank you guys for watching.